Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, I'd like to talk briefly about the identity matrix and kind of why it's called that and where it comes from. So um, you've seen when we solve, if we solve a system, uh, so if we solve AX equals B, and let's say um, same number of rows as columns. So it's a square matrix, A is a square matrix. Or equivalently, same number of, of uh, equations as variables. If we think about this as a system of equations, Um, so that's a square matrix. Uh, if this has a unique solution, right, which can happen um, in the case of a square matrix. So if it reduces, if there's a pivot um, in every column, uh, and we get unique solution, then basically what happened is a uh, augmented with B, row reduced to a matrix that looks like this, right? Uh, just as a, e.g., uh, with four, four rows and columns. So it looks something like this, right? We get a pivot in each row, a pivot in each column. And we get, um, you know, let's just say we get something like two, five, negative seven, one, right? Then that means that we that we have the solution, right? Then um, we read the solution off. You know, x one equals two, x two equals five. Etc. And the point I want to make is that this thing right here is called the identity matrix. This, this square matrix with ones along the diagonal, zeros everywhere else. So that this is called the identity matrix. I guess it's the four by four identity matrix. So partly it's the simplest matrix that could show up when you're trying to solve a system of equations. It's almost like if you can get to that point, then you're great, you're done. Um, so uh, it's labeled I or I N. Sometimes if you wanna know for, in, for the N by N identity. And right, so it's, just just the description is um, one along the main diagonal, ones along the main diagonal, zeros everywhere else. Okay. Um, but the one thing I wanted to say is why is it called the identity? Um, Yeah, why this specific word identity? And I can think of a couple of reasons. Um, one is you might have heard, well, the word identity is used in math a lot, right? Um, you might have heard it for like trig, trig identities, you know, that's a little bit different. That's something an identity sometimes is something that's always true, no matter what you plug in for the variable. Um, but this is a little different, you may have also heard of like the additive identity. So for example, something like the additive identity um, zero, right? The number zero is considered the additive identity because when you, you know, when you add zero to X, it doesn't change it. And there's also the multiplicative identity one when you multiply something times one, it doesn't change it. So um, something that doesn't change things. 
may be called an identity. And if you think about it, this matrix, let me just do an example. Um, the identity matrix is also a multiplicative identity because um, consider, you know, one zero, the, this three by three identity, and let me multiply it by a general three entry vector, three dimensional vector. Um, you know, there's two different ways to do this. We could do this with the sort of row dot column, or we could do it as the, this as the coefficient, right? X one times the vector one zero zero plus so on. And either way, uh, I'm pretty, I'm sure you'll agree, you get this back. So IE in other words, like I times the vector X equals the vector X. So the identity matrix is a, is a um, so the identity matrix is, an, is a multiplicative identity. It's, a, it's an identity for matrix multiplication. Or for a matrix, I mean, it'll be an identity for matrix times matrix multiplication, which we haven't talked about yet, but uh, matrix times vector multiplication. It's certainly, we just saw that it's an identity for that. Okay, so that's the one reason, but I also, I wanna give a different reason um, that I think is very cool. There's also uh, a transformation perspective reason why we would call this the identity. If you think about it, there's a very sort of dumb transformation, right? So consider um, the transformation from Rn to Rn defined by T of X equals X, i.e. do nothing. You know, there are functions, like you can have the function F of X equals X. You can have the transformation T of X equals X. You can have the sort of do nothing transformation. That's it's fine. It actually is gonna come up in a sort of interesting way pretty soon when we talk about matrix inverses and transformation inverses. But um, this is actually called the identity transformation because it's not changing anything, right? Identity transformation. And in fact, it's not usually denoted T, it's usually denoted something like ID or something. So maybe I'll rename it. Maybe I'll just be like, let's call this ID. This is ID right there. Okay, so the ID of X is X. Um, or you could just call it I of X or something. Um, so that's a that's an identity transformation. And the question you wanna ask is what is its matrix? What is the matrix of the identity transformation? So pause and think about it for a second. Hopefully you can see where I'm going with this, but you might try to verify it for yourself. Well, okay. It's, um, let's just say in the three by three case or something, right? The matrix is, as we've seen, I mean, there's a bunch of different ways to write this down and see it, but one way to see it is we know we can just kind of apply the transformation to each of the basis vectors the standard basis vectors, right? That's the the first column. Okay, I'll be fancy. That's my fancy dotted lines here, or maybe dashed lines. And then the third column. So you just apply the transformation to the three standard basis vector, right? We've seen that over and over again. That's how you build the matrix. But the identity does nothing. So that immediately gives you one, zero, zero there, zero, one, zero there, and zero, zero, one. And so it's the identity matrix. Okay, so that's another way. So anyways, it kind of shows up in these sort of interesting ways. Um, and it's, so that's why it's a special matrix. It might seem weird to have these ones along the diagonal and why that would be so special, but it, it works out very nicely. It comes up 
and very naturally in these ways. Okay, I will stop there.